showing everything we need to get our full set done. Um, you see the fingertips right here. As you notice, the fingertips, they don't have any nails. So that's what this baggie for. Bam, we got our nail tips there. Our fake uh, nail plates. You know what else you gotta have? You gotta have glue. No glue, no nails. Let's say this, no glue, no nails. Of course, we gotta have the monomer. <laughs> oh my, young monomer. <laughs> lavish monomer. It's actually not a lavish monomer, it's religion monomer. Uh, this was lavish monomer in here, but um, we use it all, so it's actually religion monomer. One thing about the monomer, um, whatever brand you have, so the lavish brand, you have to use the um, lavish monomer. Um, if you have, uh, what's another brand? Um, I can't think of a brand, but whatever that brand is, you want to try to use that monomer for that brand. Because if you use anything different from that brand, it might come out lumpy or the monomer may not mesh with the acrylic. So that's very, very important depending on uh, what brand you're dealing with. The next thing we're gonna need, that e-file, that, that e-file. Um, this e-file here, I love it. I definitely love it when I first started, um, I'm still learning. Um, I was using a file to um, basically clean the, to prep the nail because I was nervous to use the e-file. Um, I didn't know how to control it, but now that I know how to control it, I love the e-file. It makes the process that much quicker, bam, bam, bam. Um, a lot of people uh, fear to use the e-file when they're prepping, but it's a confidence thing. If you're confident and you know what you're doing, it's no problem. Um, so I learned and watched many YouTube videos on how to use e-file, thanks to Young Nails. We got it right here, boom, we got our nail tips. Um, there's no brand in particular, it's just nail tips. Bam, we got our nail tips. Boom, well, of course, we gotta have a UR Royalty bag. That's the UR Royalty, this guy's, um, all my files and acrylic in here. So we got our bag here, files, boom. You gotta have dehydrator, bam, got the dehydrator. Of course, the brush once you done, knock off all the debris. So you put that top coat on, perfect. And we got acrylic, of course we gotta have the acrylic, bam. Dark Knight, um, this is acrylic that I made, whipped up a couple colors and came up with Dark Knight. I came up with the name Dark Knight for this acrylic. You are royalty, bam, check the logo. We gotta have, so here, uh, Kalinsky. I, I, I hope I'm saying it right, Kalinsky brush. This was a gift right here. That's why it's different colors. So this is a size 10. Um, the 10, I like the 10 for me. It's okay, uh, you, it picks up more um, more product, but it's hard to manipulate. But if, you, if you're a good artist, you can manipulate manipulate anything. So, but this is a Kalinsky. Amazon, it's a size, what size is this? It's a size eight. I like this brush is because I'm able to control and manipulate the acrylic a lot better with this with this one. Some people use 14, 12, 10. Um, I used, I started off with a 12, then I went to a 10. Now I'm at an eight. I like the eight better. For me, the eight is a lot better to use because I can control the acrylic. I want to be one with the acrylic. Yeah, one. In this industry, it's about just practicing, 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 practice, and more practice. Um, over time, I'm getting better. Um, as I look at my old videos, I'm coming a long way. Um, I'm happy. Uh, basically, just want to get my application down, then everything else will come through.